Hi, my name's Olivia, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the honeycomb bracelet. So what you're going to need is a loom, a hook, a S-clip, and some colors. You need 20 of the color, 20 of each color you use. The only reason I say this is just for extra, just in case you want to do the extension. Okay, so I'm going to put my hook and C-clip aside and take my first rubber bands. I'm going to make sure the red arrow is facing away from me. And I'm going to grab my first color. I'm going to take it and go from here to here. Then I'm going to take my next color and put it from here to here. I'm going to push it down. Take your next color and go up. Take your next color or the same color and put it up. Then you're going to go diagonal and you're going to go like that. Then you're going to take the same color or your next color and go like that. So it looks like that. Then you're going to take your next color and go from here to here. Then you're going to go from the center pin to the outer pin. Then you're going to go from the third to fourth pin in this row. Straight up. Then take your next rubber band and go straight up. And then there. To there. And push it down. I'll do this with you one more time and then I'm going to fast forward. There. 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 You don't want your rubber bands twisted because when it comes to looming it, it won't work well. Then you want to put it there. Okay, now I'll fast forward from here. Now just you do the same thing on the top and that's what it should look like with your complete setting of the rubber bands. Now you're going to take your hook and push everything down. You want to make sure all your rubber bands are lined up nice and straight. I'm going to do this with my fingers because I think it goes faster this way. Okay, now we're going to flip our loom around so the red arrow is now facing you. And you're going to take the same color band or a different color band and leave it like this. Twist it and come back around. Or you can go like this, like that, and loop it back over itself. So you have a cap band placed, and let's start looping. So you're going to take your hook and go in the rubber band, the cap band, and grab the first one. You want to hold down the cap band with your thumb and Pull it out to the side that it came from. Then go back in and grab 
the last pink one that's in there and loop it to the side that it came from. If you lose it, that's all right because you stick your hook back through, grab it, put it back on this and loop it back over. So then you're gonna go in here, grab that rubber band, then you're gonna loop it forward. You're gonna go right here in and loop it forward. Then you're going to go back in here, loop it, and take it forward. And go in here, grab that one, and loop it forward. So it should look like this. If you look at it, it should look like sort of like a star with a hole in the middle of it. Then you're going to go back in here and grab this rubber band. You can pull it if you can't see it. And you just go in. Watch your head. So we just pull it out to the side. I lost it, so I'm just going to do it. And then I'm going to put this one out there. I'm going to go in here, loop this forward, go back in here it forward and then go back in here loop it forward back in here loop it forward I'll do I'll do this with you one more time and then fast forward then you loop it to there go back in here loop it up if it just falls off like that you just place it back on the loop just like that then you're gonna go back in here Leave it there. Go out. There. Then you can go in, loop it out. Go in, loop it out. And then, again, if it falls off halfway, you just put it back on. Okay, now I'm going to fast forward. And then that is the finished look of what the looming stage should look like. It should look like stretched out stars with holes in the middle. Then I'm going to slide my loom towards me and stick my hook through all the rubber bands and come out. Then I'm going to take one rubber band and put it on my hook. And I'm going to loop it back through. And then this is, I'm going to pull it off to my hook and take it off my loom. This is an easy bracelet to take off your loom. Oh. This bracelet is also a very loose one. So, yeah. Then there's your finished look of your bracelet. There you go. So now I'm just going to cap it like I do in all my other videos. And pull it up. And then that's what it looks like. Now... I need an extension, a tiny one for this bracelet. So I'm going to do an extension. Okay, so now you're going to flip your loom back around so the red arrow is facing away from you again. And take your first color rubber band and on this side you're going to go from there to there from there to there. And I think I only need about three extensions because this bracelet is so long and loose. It would probably fit if I only added two or three. I'm sorry I don't have a 
reference, but if you look, it only has probably two only. So then I'm going to take this. It has the cap band at the bottom. Put it from this pin to this pin. It's best if you did this, um, the same color as your extension and your um, um, cap band down here, the same color as your extension. Of course, I didn't know I was going, what color I was going to do my extension. I had most white, so I just picked white. I'm going to set, I'm going to take my hook and unknot this. and put it on my hook. And then slide it on really far. You can leave it capped, but I'm just gonna uncap it right now, just so you can see how to do it uncapped. You're gonna go in and loop this forward, still having the red arrow facing away from you, and go in and loop this forward. After you've done that, going, you're going to pull this to the side. Kind of tough, but it's doable. Then you're going to take your S clip or C clip and hook it on. Stretching it from here to here just makes it easier to put the C clip on. Then take it off. Again, I'm going to cap it. Just easier that way. I'm gonna cap it tight so it never falls apart. And then I'm going to put it on there. And I have my finished bracelet. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, come back in a few days, and I'll have another video posted. So, thanks for watching. Bye!